Before the year was up, the government unveiled measures to improve transparency and security in the nation's cryptocurrency market. We are now learning of the latest follow-up measure, additional guidelines on virtual currency transactions. Kim Jun helps us get familiarized with the changes. Financial authorities in Korea say an identity authentication process will no longer be required for investors that are withdrawing cash from trading accounts, whereas investors making deposits will be required to do so. The revision comes amid rising criticism over the earlier requirement for people depositing or withdrawing cash from their accounts to go through a face-to-face -face identification process. Authorities say the changes would help them prevent the virtual currency market from becoming overheated without restricting property rights of existing traders, while motivating people to go through an authentication process when trying to withdraw cash. Such a requirement was implemented to curb speculation on cryptocurrencies and crack down on related crimes, such as hacking and illegal foreign exchange transactions, as well as hinder miners and foreigners from opening investment accounts. A task force comprised of government and local bank officials and virtual currency exchanges are set to be coming up with detailed guidelines to develop an identity authentication process to be unveiled within the next three weeks. Additional measures are being made amid the growing craze over the best-known cryptocurrency Bitcoin, which dropped to around 17,000 U.S. dollars on Tuesday. Korea is one of the biggest private Bitcoin exchanges, with more than a million Koreans believed to hold at least some Bitcoin. Kim Jian, Arirang News.